Ciao, Beyonce got kanye again, this time by her husband, Jay-Z. And again, when Taylor Swift got Album of the Year at the Grammys for the fourth time. Most Grammys never won Album of the Year. That doesn't work. Um, I don't think it works like that, ho. But also, Jay-Z apparently canceled his pre-Grammy party just to uninvite Diddy. And Diddy threatening to expose the Grammys and other people in the industry? Okay, before we get into Diddy madness, let's first break down how Jay left his wife feeling uncomfortable and why Beyonce is now feeling embarrassed. So Jay was accepting the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award established in 2023. And while he accepted the award, he also took his time to call out the Grammys. And one of the things he said is that Bay is due for that Album of the Year award, which she has never won. For reference, Bay has been nominated for Album of the Year on five separate occasions. The Beyonce really ate when she explored the emotional impact of Jay-Z cheating on her to how she addressed generational pain as well as racial inequality. Let me not even start with how she blended genres using reggae, rock, hip-hop, soul, funk, country, and electronica. And the accompanying visual album, yeah, that was insane. That year, Adele was the one who won Album of the year. And in her acceptance speech, the Adele also said that if there was one person who deserved album of the year, it was Bay. But I can't possibly accept this award. And I'm very humbled and I'm very grateful and gracious, but my artist of my life is Beyonce in this album to me. The Lemonade album was just so monumental, Beyonce. It was so monumental and so well thought out and so beautiful and soul bearing and we all got to see another side to you that you don't always let us see and we appreciate that. Well, Jay-Z definitely agrees that his wife has been snubbed for far too long and he made it clear that he believes Beyonce should have won album of the year at some point during her career. To a lot of people, including Jay-Z, it's ridiculous that even though Beyonce has over 30 Grammys, literally just one of her 32 Grammy wins has come in the big four category, which basically constitutes album of the year, record of the year, song of the year, and best new artist. Single Ladies was song of the year in 2010, but other than that, all other wins have been in genre categories, which clearly isn't enough for her and Jay as well. Okay, I agree that it was smart for Jay to say what he said when Beyonce was not nominated for album of the year, you know, so it doesn't look like the others didn't deserve it. But it became a big deal because it so happens that Taylor Swift is the one who won album of the year again. The streets are saying that Taylor was such a disgrace for grabbing her Grammy from Celine Dion's hands without even looking at her or giving her a hug. People are saying that she should have acknowledged her appreciation for receiving it from her, especially given the fact that Celine was even able to be there amidst her immense struggles. Anyway, I'm not focused on that right now because I can't get past how Beyonce was just somewhere thinking, people are going to think I have an agenda against Taylor. Given, of course, how Kanye West once took the microphone from her hand during an acceptance speech, told her he would let her finish, and said that Beyonce single ladies video was one of the best videos of all time. <laughs> and while the Beehive may agree with Jay, there are people who said that it doesn't matter that Beyonce didn't win album of the year. But if people also agreed that as much as Jay has the right to talk about whatever he wants during his speech and defend his wife, it is a bad look when Bay has won so much already. I mean, he would have had a point if she was always snubbed for most awards, but that is far from reality. Some people also said that if Beyonce wrote the music and lyrics for an entire album, she would probably have a shot at winning. But as long as she keeps sampling other artists and needing 3,000 people to write the lyrics to one song, she's probably never going to win. Honey, a lot of people may not agree with Jay-Z saying that Beyonce deserves to win Album of the Year, but we can all agree that he was right on one thing. Some people really did get robbed, and others didn't deserve to be in any category. Some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you may get robbed. Some of you don't belong in a category. <laughs> oh, no, 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 when I get nervous, I tell the truth. Jay-Z apparently canceled his Grammy brunch partly because of Diddy. Based on what the streets are saying, Jay-Z didn't know how to uninvite Diddy to the party. And because he couldn't just tell it to his face, he decided to cancel the party. Apparently, Diddy was planning on showing up to the party, and his plus one was supposed to be Clive Davis, who, by the way, has made it very clear that he supports Diddy amidst everything that has been going on with him. But Jay-Z was like, uh, no, sir. 
y'all are not dragging those freak off tales to my party. Allegedly, Jay-Z no longer wants anything to do with Diddy. Cause as we have figured out, Diddy is a sinking ship and Jay wants nothing to do with it. Baby, it gets even juicier cause Blind Item said that Jay-Z created a whole other private party, one that did not have Diddy on the invite list. Child, if anything, Diddy should not be surprised that Jay-Z has cut him off. Are we not speaking about the same man who sold out and left his then business partner Dane Dash out of the Rockefeller Def Jam deal? The very same one who used Kanye West to revive his rap career and threw him to the wolves? Of course he was gonna cut off Diddy, who at that point is really a sinking ship. Speaking of Diddy, he was also not in attendance at the Grammys, even though he was nominated for Best Progressive R&B Album for his The Love Album, Off the Grid. Diddy's rep said that he would not be attending, and while they made it look like it was his choice, it's possible that the organizers didn't want him there as well, for obvious reasons. Allegedly, several key players, including several high-profile African-American members, feared that inviting him would send the wrong message to audiences and various charities. Reportedly, several publicists also asked that their artists not be seated next to him, and it was all just a logistical nightmare to invite him. But you know what? Blind items are also saying that behind the scenes, Diddy is actually planning to take down as many people as he can with him. He's basically like, y'all want to uninvite me to parties and award shows and distance yourselves from me? I am taking all of you down with me. Child, if that is what Diddy is cooking, I am here for all the messy tea and everybody that he is about to snitch on. But do you think he's actually going to take people down with him? Will Jay-Z be among the people he takes down with him? I am also dying to know your thoughts on Jay-Z basically being Beyonce's mouthpiece and saying that Bay deserves album of the year. Sources close to Bay are already saying that Beyonce was embarrassed, which is why they walked out of the Grammys right after Jay's speech. But in your opinion, does Beyonce actually deserve to win album of the year for the albums she has released so far? Sound off in the comments section below.